about that. And this is Melissa Arm with the Stock Swish. I'm revealing Starbucks. This was the Stock Swish show play of the day. So this closed at 88.49 yesterday. and over the day at 75.82. This was a short. We did it. I called a put in it. But we also did it as a day trade. So again, stock close here, gap down. We shorted it, got the drop. I did a lay bad in this. I really wanted to get this down. I really loved it, and it went. I had a good exit on it. I could have held it longer. could have been a little bit more. But I wanted to get out of this before 2 o'clock with the Fed meeting today, and I still think that was the right decision. You never know. Again, you'll have things that will go into the late morning, early afternoon. Sometimes you'll have things that will go all day. With the Fed and not knowing exactly how that was going to transpire after 2, the best thing to do would be to book profits in the morning. I do prefer to be that quick in the morning. This, the trade was here. And again, I was debating it. I, it pushed back. I said, I think it's slower. I did the ad. I held it. And it all worked out. A lot of people in the room, in fact, I think everybody in the room got out there in the morning. So the fast trades are always the best. Um, and this certainly continued. But one of the nice things about trading gaps and getting these very, very intricate, perfect entries, particularly the one in the chart, which is where I'm entering, you can make a decision yourself if you want to take it, get out of half, hold some, do an option, hold that, take it, get out, do the day trade. It gives you the flexibility when you have very aggressive entries, which we do. Again, you must size yourself. You must use stops. We used to stop in this today. It's never going anywhere near the stop, by the way. But anyways, the whole point of trading is trading momentum, and we definitely got this today. So the stock was up here, high day was almost 77, and low was 72.67, and we had a great entry in this. I don't think I could have actually had a better entry in this. Again, I did the ad late, but that was really just because I wanted to get the push down to the bigger move, so that I decided to hold it. So we'll see where this goes tomorrow and everything else we've been doing. Actually, tomorrow I'm just going to look at something new, but this was a nice trade today. If you're interested in more information and you want to sign up, and join the live trading room. You must do the Golden Gap course, and I do specials. Sometimes that include the trading room. When you do the class, it gets you in the room. You can start trading then in the room before the class. Uh, the next Golden Gap course is May 18th and 19th. If you would like more information, email me at melissathestockswish.com. This was the Stock Swish Show play today. You were in the room, you got the trade, the entry, the targets, the stock, you got it all. Have a great day, everyone.